Hello, my dear students at home. Welcome to St. Charles College Online Teaching. I am Ume Fidelia from the English Department. The topic is synonyms and antonyms. Before we move into details, we want to look at the specific objectives. By this specific objective, we mean those things you, the students, are supposed to learn at the end of this lesson. First, you should be able to define synonyms and antonyms. Two, give four examples of synonyms and antonyms each and use them in making sentences. Three, state the different ways of forming antonyms. Number four, give synonyms and antonyms of given words. Lesson content. Synonyms are words that are similar in meaning. Why antonyms are words that are opposite in meaning? The knowledge of synonyms helps to increase one's word bank. That is the vocabulary. Synonyms and antonyms easily provide alternative words to a speaker or writer. However, it is important to note that no two words have exactly the same meaning, although the nearest in meaning of some words to others make it possible for one to have varieties of words for creativity. Below are words with their synonyms and antonyms. Words, synonym, and sentences. Below are words with their synonyms. Beg, besiege. The criminal besieged the judge to grant him clemency. Deep, profound. There was a profound silence in the entire church. Agree, concur. Our opinions on the matter concurred. Rich, wealthy. The wealthy man is terribly stingy. Poor, indigent. The government promised financial assistance to indigent students. Important, has the same meaning as significant. The Easter celebration is the most significant feast to Christians. Brief, concise. The storyteller gave a concise details of the issues in the novel. Educated, learned, all lawyers claim to be learned gentlemen. Foolish, stupid. The old man made stupid remarks about our business. Allowed, has the same meaning as permitted. The prisoners were permitted to go home. Likeable, amiable. Mr. Uzama is an amiable man. Friendly, amicable. The case was amicably settled by the church elders. Polite has the same meaning as civil. The young man made a civil approach to the old lady. When you are polite to someone, you are being civil. Praises has the same meaning as compliments. The company manager showed lots of compliments on the retiring staff. Infertile has the same meaning as barren. The barren woman became pregnant recently. Believable, credible. The story was not credible even to a fool. Fixed has the same meaning as definite. There is no definite date for the proposed meeting. Mean, stingy. The rich man is very stingy. Abandon has the same meaning as desert. Bad friends desert each other in times of difficulty. Disinterested, neutral. When something is being discussed and you are not interested in that issue, you become neutral. In the example here, we said you should be neutral in a case between husband and wife. Prominent has the same meaning as eminent. Eminent citizens were invited to the wedding ceremony. Near means imminent. The prophet told his congregation that his death was imminent. Formal has the same meaning as official. The workers made an official remark to the company's managing director. Formally, previously, the annual general meeting was 
previously fixed for 30th June 2020. Luckily, means the same thing as fortunately. The matter was fortunately settled out of court. Hanged. They hanged for criminals when you want to hang criminals. Has the same meaning as executed. A hardened criminal was recently executed in Lagos. Wise, judicious. Judges should often try to give judicious judgments. Skillful has the same meaning as mastery. The author gave a mastery treatment of the subject matter. Spoken, oral. Many students hate oral English. Banned. Ban has the same meaning as proscribed. The book, Satanic Verses, was proscribed in Christian countries. Quiet is synonymous to silent. The library is a silent zone. Changes, reforms. The government proposed a lot of economic reforms for the nation. Brave is similar to fearless. Amanchuku is a fearless warrior. You can also put the sentence in another form where you will say Amanchuku is a brave warrior. So brave and fearless, yeah, they are similar. Lovely, dear, my lovely wife, if former, is very dear to me. Greedy, rapacious. A true Christian should not be rapacious. Then if you look down, you'll notice that we have more words and they are synonyms. These times we are going to do it in such a way that I have to pronounce the word first and two synonyms to that word. For instance, we have confess. Confess is similar to admit and own. Abandon, give up, also means relinquish. Dangerous has similar meaning to risky, perilous. Surrender, resign, yield. Expensive could be used in place of dear, costly. Disaster could also be used in place of misfortune and calamity. Success, triumph, victory. Agree, concur, assent. When you share the same view or opinion with someone, it means you have agreed with that person. Therefore, your opinions concord on the same matter. Compulsory has similar meaning with obligatory. Why has the same meaning as savage and barbaric. Reject is similar to renounce and disclaim. We have elongates, prolong, also have the same meaning as lengthen. Compensate, requisite, atone, enough, has similar meaning to adequate, sufficient, famous, has similar meaning to renowned, eminent, request, demand, solicit, discover, has similar meaning to invent and explore, then convince, when you try to convince somebody over something, you are trying to persuade that person. And at the same time, you are trying to influence that person's opinion. Fearful can also be used in place of cowardly or timid. Vacation has similar meaning as leave and holiday. Jail, prison, gaul. Rule, govern, supervise, generous, libra, open handed, fata, deadly, mortal. We have genuine, genuine is similar to few and real, fault, error, flaw. And then the last one, we have frugal, truthful, and economical. We now move to antonyms. 
We initially will get the definition of antonyms. Antonyms are words that are opposite in meaning, e.g., boy and girl, table and chair, friend and enemy. Ways of forming antonyms. There are many ways of forming antonyms. The first one, we have ways which antonyms are formed by the direct opposite of the words. For instance, we have enemy, friend. This person is your friend. The other one is your enemy. Men, women, dull, intelligent, brave, cowards. Number two, there are words whose antonyms are formed by giving you the nearly opposite. For instance, we say friendly, hostile, cheerful, unhappy, sickly, howdy. Number three, we have those words which antonyms are formed by adding a preface. What do you mean by preface? Preface is a letter or group of letters added to the beginning or before a root word to create a new word. Examples of prefaces are IL, IR, this, come, and so on. Example, in a word like use, if you add miss to it, it gives you misuse. A word like unhappy, if you add on UN before the word happy, it will give you unhappy. Then, other words like pew, if you add I am to it, it gives you impu. Logical, if you add I L before the root word, it will give you illogical. We have rational, if you add I R to rational, it will give you irrational. Legal, add I L, it will give you illegal. Regular, irregular. Lawyer, this lawyer. Respect, you add D-I-S there, this, to respect, it will give you disrespect. If you add mora, I am to mora, it will give you immora. Then number four, we have those words that the antonyms are formed by adding suffix. What is a suffix? A suffix is a letter or group of letters added after the root words or at the end of the root word to create a new word. Examples of suffixes are IL, FUL, meant, less, IOR, and so on. Example here again, we use the word happy. Happy, if you add LY at the end of happy, it will give you happily. If you also add EN at the end of happy, it will give you happen. Add full, F-U-L, to faith, it will give you faithful. You now see that L-Y and full are examples of suffixes. Again, we have other examples like lion. You add ness to it, it gives you lioness. God, add S to it, it gives you goddess. Emperor, you have empress. Prince, princess, mother, motherless. Number five, we have those words, the antonyms are formed by preface change or change in preface. You simply change the letters at the beginning of such words and add another word. It will automatically give you the antonym of such words. For instance, we have destruction, construction, we have encourage, we have discourage, we have preface, the antonyms become suffix. Exports, for instance, you, you change the ES there, it will give you imports, external, internal. Those other words, other words form their antonyms by change in surface. That is, you simply change the surface, words that are added at the end of the root word. For instance, you have pitiful, pitiless, doubtful, doubtless, Careful, careless, we have merciful, merciless, harmful, harmless, we have valuable, valueless, and so on and so forth. 
But I want you to note that prefaces and suffixes are called affixes. Affixes are those letters or group of letters that are fixed before the root word or at the end of the root word. Once you fix them at the beginning of the root word, they will be called prefaces. If you add them at the end of the root word, they will be known as suffixes. Therefore, prefaces and suffixes are called affixes. Number seven, we have those words that form their antonyms by replacing or changing the words. This is the most common type we use. For instance, we have familiar, strange, transparent, opaque. Transparent are those things, you can see through it, but opaque is blank, you can't see through it. Dry, wet. Again, we are in the rainy season, for instance. Once it rains, it wets everywhere. And as soon as the sun rises, it dries up our environment. Fertile has the opposite as barren. Respectful as impertinent. Other examples are common, rare, virtue, vice, predecessor, successor, generous, mean, fast, slow, success, failure. Good and bad, mild and severe, specific and general. My dear students, so far we have said a lot of things. We have talked about synonyms and antonyms. We have also said the reasons why we study synonyms and antonyms. We went on to give examples of words and their synonyms. And the next one we did was antonyms. We defined antonyms and gave different forms or ways of forming antonyms. So far, I believe that from all that I've said, you'll be able to pick one or two things from all that I've explained. We now move to the evaluation. And this is going to be an assignment for you. Number one, what are synonyms and antonyms? Two, give the synonyms and antonyms of these words about, candidate, elegance, because, decorum, docile. Number two says, choose the one that is similar or nearest in meaning to the words in italics. Number one, the minister explained that the execution of the project has been impeded by lack of funds. Options there, you have options there. Number two, he was so engrossed in his reading that he didn't notice when I entered. Engrossed is the underlying word there. And you have the options there. Pick your answer from there. Number five, there are various options open to you on this matter. The underlying word there is option. Choose your options from the alphabet there. The last but not the least is the one on antonyms. It says, pick the options that is most appropriate opposite in meaning to the underlying words in the sentences. By working hard, Benjamin has shown his elder brother instead of being dash. Is he going to be overshadowed, defeated, demoted, or submerged? Number eight, the delegates found it better to resort to consultation rather than dash, conflict, confrontation, reconciliation, consent. The last but not the least, we have when we were busy discussing worldly matters, James introduced a dash issue. What is going to be the answer? Is it light, meaningless, common, or trivial? My dear students, when you finish your assignment, I want you to send in your, your assignment into the number below. 070-4505-7673 070-4505-7690. And remember, you have just two days. Today is Friday. You have Saturday and Sunday, 12 noon, to send in your assignment. After that, I won't accept any other. And again, I want to remind you that the note you see after this lesson, you have to copy it into your English notes. It is a must. You must copy it to help fasting our work. Thank you, my dear students.
आणखी सेफ